Good afternoon, folks. There's more to be said about the data glitch in the South Atlantic, more than what I said in the morning show. So let's dive a bit deeper. As I said, the glitch made it appear that 80-foot waves covering a psychotically huge area of the South Atlantic Ocean were heading northwards towards West Africa. That certainly wasn't the case. Every other data set showed it as relatively normal seas at that time, which you can still go back and check on Null School as I am showing here. Even a three-foot tsunami makes ionospheric anomalies, so the lack of anything during this event tells us there were certainly no 80-foot swells covering thousands of square miles, and of course nobody at the coast saw anything as well. Lastly, the buoy data is some of the most robust of them all, and it showed nothing in the South Atlantic. It did show a weird anomaly in the East Pacific near Chile. However, we know nothing happened there either, because the Chilean coastline monitors any oceanic disturbance like a hawk after devastating tsunamis have hit there in the past. So, what is our explanation? Just a simple data glitch? Something with the algorithm? Well, I've got two options for you here, and I can't pick between them. Just wanted to share them both. First, I saw this post on Twitter, and while I'm going to correct it slightly, I want to be clear. I like this person's attitude and mindset, and that the post here is exactly the kind of mindset you need to have in this community. I applaud them for it. It's just that sometimes there is a sensible explanation. This person is noting that the data glitch and the East Pacific buoy glitch were on the edges of the South Atlantic anomaly, a very astute observation. However, I might say that's not so unexpected, especially with the not real wave in the South Atlantic, which came from satellite data. And where do satellites take the most glitches? The South Atlantic anomaly. If you didn't know, there are twice as many glitches as satellites go over this area as the rest of the entire world combined. So if we're going to get a data glitch from a satellite, I would expect it to be here. But I also want to mention that these glitches happen most often during ionospheric disturbances from solar storms, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, or from meteor intrusions into the upper atmosphere. Many of you know that a newly discovered 10-foot wide asteroid was supposed to hit the atmosphere, and perhaps it did. There was certainly no footage of it, but that would be expected out in the middle of the ocean. If the NASA graphic of the asteroid was correct, it would have expected a 1900 UTC strike from this angle, and that would be hitting either the Atlantic or Africa. The land you see on the right side of the Earth's sphere is California, so you can see how the asteroid would have entered near that anomaly point in the Atlantic. If it did, and burned up in the ionosphere, it could have easily made that satellite glitch that had so many of us eagerly awaiting updates on the mega waves yesterday. Again, I don't know which one of those is correct, or if it's something else to blame for the glitch, but it was indeed a glitch. And I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.